Hey, this is Joseph Lebrec, and I'm going to be showing some of the, the new bits and, and pieces inside of uh, Adobe Edge Animate Preview 7. So, a few of the things I'm going to show in this video are some of the new properties that you can use. And if I go in and open up this existing project here, we can see, let's get rid of the lessons panel to give us a little more space. But we can see that we actually have, when I click on some of these elements here, if I click on this photo, for instance, you can see in the Properties panel, we now have these sort of collapsible items. So the Properties panel can get quite large, depending upon what's actually displayed there and the type of object you have selected. So this helps out with that. But you'll notice here that we've got a new little property for Shadow. So if I scroll that down, we can see that we actually do have a shadow uh, enabled on this particular object. It's a photo, an image. And you can choose between a drop shadow, an inset shadow, choose the shadow coloring and alpha. You can choose the X and Y positioning of the shadow, the blur and the spread. And you can see here that the shadow itself is tweenable, so you can animate the shadow as we go along here, which I actually do in this particular photograph. So you can see I'm changing the shadow as we go across time here. And it changes in the properties panel as well. You can also toggle this item on and off using this little switch right here. So if I toggle that off, it's going to warn me and say, hey, I'm going to remove this. I don't want that, obviously, but usually the shadow will be off especially if you're creating a new composition, that shadow is going to be off right away. You're not going to see it. So you have to toggle it on first and then change any of the pieces of that shadow that you want to customize. So we also have the ability to turn on and off the clipping. So if I toggle that on, I can then make adjustments of the clipping. Just as you normally would. I could also use the clipping tool up here just as just as we normally would be able to do uh, beforehand as well. And I can toggle that on and off. You can see here, remove clip, continue, and it brings it back as if I had no clipping applied whatsoever. You'll notice a new accessibility area. So here we can put in a title, so absinthe, and a tab index. So tab index at zero default, we can put one in there or whatever. We can remove that if we want to. And this helps, of course, with accessibility. We also, up here, right next to the ability to choose the different tags, have the new ability to insert a class. So if I wanted to have a certain number of images in my composition inherit from a master style sheet, I could do that here, like maybe call this uh, edge image. So anything marked with the class edge image would inherit something from a style sheet that I would hook up later on after I publish my composition. So those are some of the new properties and some of the changes of uh, existing properties that we have inside of uh, Edge Animate Preview 7.